we're going to move into the musculocutaneous nerve. Now, this nerve innervates your bicep and runs all the way down through your forearm. Now, if you've ever had any feeling of weakness or of overuse, either in your bicep or as your shoulder lifts up or anything that folds in towards the body, then this is a good nerve glide for you. Our pretest for this one can be two things. If you have a weight at home or if you have some sort of countertop that you can reach under, you can literally retest the strength of your bicep by putting yourself underneath it and just pushing up. Make sure it's not something that can smack you in the face. Done that before. The second pretest we can do is shoulder flexion. So with the straight elbow, you're gonna lift your arm straight up and see how far it goes. Not super happy about that one, yeah? So either pretest your bicep strength or take your shoulder into flexion, notice how easy it is, notice how far it goes, and then we'll begin. So we'll begin with our hand in a fist. Elbow is gonna be straight. Now there's something kind of funky about this nerve that we haven't done in the previous ones. Go ahead and glide your wrist kind of forward and back, yeah? Like a boat rocking. Knuckles come forward and then they go back. We're gonna leave ourselves with our pinky pulling back towards our forearm, yeah? And with our elbow straight, and our shoulder down, as always, we're going to extend the shoulders. We're gonna bring it behind you. And as usual, our head is gonna stretch away. Sometimes I think of this as the dragging the screaming child nerve glide because that's what it feels like you're doing by creating that much tension. So our tension is little, it's two to three. And here we are in our full tensioning sequence the sensation should be either in the hand or the forearm or the bicep. And after we find our tensioning sequence for just a moment, then we'll begin our gliding sequence by gliding the knuckles forward and back. And we can bend in the elbow and come back. This is a really tricky one to find the original tensioning sequence. So don't forget about that wrist deviation. And we'll take this through the shoulder blade, lifting up and pulling back, lifting up and pulling back. And at least for me, this tends to transition more up into the collarbone area. So anywhere that you feel some tension along the front of the arm or the collarbone is great. Find your original tension, and then we'll go into the head. And I always find that my hand likes to sneak forward. Good, then relax and retest. If you did your bicep retest, notice if that feels stronger. I feel just more ease and activation as I lift here. And then we'll retest our shoulder flexion. That's a lot better. Yeah, I can see it a lot less in my peripheral vision. So our slacking sequence for this, if we were back here dragging our child through the supermarket, now we're gonna put them to bed, nighty night. So your thumb curls up, we're still in the fist, shrugging in that same shoulder and the head. It's as if we're just trying to get as cozy as possible all the way up to here. Hmm. And yes, it's okay if you feel a little bit of self-soothing. It's okay, it's good. And go ahead and release from that and retest. Maybe slacking made you stronger, maybe tensioning made you stronger. If you retested your biceps, go ahead and reach under and retest or retest the flexion in your shoulder. Okay, after you've done retesting that, we'll go through the second side. Now, as you go through these videos, after you do them once or twice, I encourage you to try to beat me, right? See if you can get into the exercise, find the tensioning sequence, 
or the slacking sequence um, and see if you can find it for yourself. But if not, here we go. So our hand is in a fist and we have our new movement, which is pulling the pinky knuckle and pinky finger up towards the elbow. From here, our shoulder blade is down and back. Our shoulder is extended back and already I'm feeling some sensation up through here. Yay. And then lastly, the head will tilt away. So find that two to three out of 10 of tensioning. Oh, I forgot to pretest. Here we go. Do your pretest. We have our shoulder either reaching up or we can retest with or pretest with our bicep strength. Another option too is just to squeeze your biceps in. Seems a little counterintuitive, but really try to pull them in and notice how strong that feels. You can also do your left shoulder inflection. Yeah, find your pretest and then let's get back to it. So, hands in a fist, pinky is pulled back to the elbow. Arm, full arm and shoulder is extended back with the shoulder blade down and back. You're seeing a theme here. And then the head goes away from it all. I'm experiencing the tensioning sequence. And then begin in the wrist, with folding the wrist side to side. This isn't this. Don't give me any of this business. This is a strange sort of glide in the wrist as well. And then we'll take the elbow. And I have to try really hard to get back into that extended tensioning sequence. It takes a little bit of maneuvering. And in our shoulder blade, up and down and up, down. And we'll finish up in the head. Again, we're thinking of creating a sense of slight elasticity for this musculocutaneous nerve. Okay, releasing out of that, and go ahead and retest. Retest the strength of your biceps pulling toward your shoulders. This feels noticeably stronger. Like, it's like it called on his muscle friends to say, hey, pull harder. Just got a little bit stronger. And then retest, you can also retest your flexion. That's a little better. Okay, now our slacking sequence after we dragged our child through the supermarket means we have to put them into a nap. So shrug the shoulder up, bring the hand in and make everything so cozy all the way up in your shoulder. Holding this for about five seconds. But you can always go longer because this feels nice. And release. And again, go ahead and retest. Pull your palms towards your shoulders or push up on something that's pretty strong. And then retry your shoulder flexion and see if that's any easier, less painful, yada, yada, yada. Okay, that's all we have for our musculocutaneous nerve.